Oh yeah. What up, babies? Oh yeah, look at that. Got all that out yesterday with Penny. Out the trails. Yep. I'll be out today. Oh yeah, what up, babies? Wow. They still got they still got food. But look what they did with the hay. I'm gonna put some more hay down in this area, right? If you look around how they waddle their noses through the hay. You see those holes? That's why I say I think they really like it. We're gonna put down some more hay right quick. And we're gonna get them some food. We don't see any eggs right now, but let's get them squared away and let's get on the water. Alright, got the water squared away. right quick and then we put some hay down there quick. all right oh i'm about to say first morning no eggs but look at that first morning three well hidden eggs look at that make sure they ain't hiding none nowhere else because they hit those pretty good this morning nope no more hidden eggs All right, so we're gonna take these three with us. Thank you for the three eggs, y'all. Let's put down some more straw right here. I ain't got no mask on today, so this is probably not a good idea. But they are definitely matting this stuff down pretty good. So they should run their noses through it pretty easily and get it matted back down. But that's good enough for now. At least I think so. Alright. Let them have at it. And we'll get these eggs. Three more eggs today. Now they kind of worried because they see all that hay I just put in a straw. That's how they acted the first time I put it in, too. All right, well, we're not really gonna go on that right now, but we got them squared away. And I say that's pretty good for today. Let's get out here on this walk. Yep. Oh yeah. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Shaw. Another beautiful day, uh. It's raining. Ooh. It's raining just a little bit. They said it was gonna be uh, freezing rain, like it was gonna be slushy today. Still feel pretty good out. To me, it's not too cold. Just a little rainy, which is not really that bad.
It's a real light sprinkle. Not gonna bother our morning walk at all. At least I don't feel like it will. Hey, yeah, uh, today's the first. Yep, know what that mean? I get them air filters changed. Yep, your air filters in your house, go ahead and get them changed. Don't forget, I'll tell you, one way to not, or to, uh, okay, basically, how I view things, anytime you're not wasting money, you can view that money as income. Yep, that's how I feel. So, by surely taking care, better care of your stuff, you're not wasting money. If you get your oil changes done on time on your vehicle, your vehicle is bound to last longer. The better you take of the things that you have, the longer they will last and the less money you will spend in the long run. So it's about taking care of what you have, investing in the best things you can possibly invest in so that they last longer. So basically what I'm learning is the reason for buying a better quality product is so that it lasts longer. But you buy a better product, quality product once you can afford to do so. Not before. Because if you do it before you can afford to do so, then you end up hurting when it comes time to maintain that product. It means clearly you could buy it, but maintenance on it you couldn't afford. Like if it bothers you to buy a car and take it back to the dealership, which I know I'm saying, well, <laughs> that don't mean you can't afford it. I don't want to sound it like, say it like that. Sometimes you just look at it like, man, they ripping you off. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a difference. I get it, I get it. I don't want to make that statement. People be out there thinking like, man, I'm not taking it to the dealership or Charles said take it to the dealership. I don't think either one. you're capable of fixing your own that's the way you chose to save money by learning how to repair your own and I used to do it that way but then cars got more and more difficult I ain't gonna lie though I don't mind not changing my oil anymore yes I know how I used to do it all the time and boy then I realized that junk cost me so much changing it myself what am I doing slowing down on the field let's go man I'm out here lollygagging I still gotta get to the pool and get to work today. I got a lot to say. Whew. This hill getting me though, that's what it is. Hey, but positive things to report today. Your boy feeling good. Knee walking good. It ain't 100%, but it's stronger than it was yesterday. What happened right here? You see what I'm saying? Pieces up there on the tree. It's broken from right here. Somebody broke it out the ground, it looked like, and then threw it over here. If that piece wasn't up on the tree right there, I would think that maybe an animal could have did it. But that made it seem like a human was playing around trying to be funny and basically destruction of property. Man, that's messed up. And it's amazing how people will just destroy stuff for no reason at all. Man, that's messed up. Somebody worked hard to put that out here this year, just this year too. Well, I'll let JB know that. Yep, so I was saying, taking better care of your stuff. Basically what I'm saying is, if you remember to take care of your furnace filter, it'll make your furnace last so much longer and you'll have so many less repairs. And think about this. You might be thinking, man, that's my landlord's job to come and do that. What I'm saying is, the harder you make their lives, do you think they're gonna try to make your life more easy? 
I'm not saying you have to pay for their filter. Just go ask them for the filter and replace it yourself. What if they never get around to it? Think of the health concerns. By hurting them or being funny thinking, I'm not gonna replace it. Yeah, you tear them, they furnace. Which is really just making you live in a environment where filth is just recirculating through your home. He's not the one hurting. You are. Then he has insurance. Hopefully, if you're a renter and you don't have insurance on your on your, your homes, I'm hoping you're trying to get some. I know I will be. Ooh. Yep, end up paying for everything if you don't. Yep, so all I'm saying is it's still helping you. And now they might say they only gonna do it every three months, they ain't gonna do it every month. Okay, that's cool. It ain't nothing you can do about that unless you wanna come out of pocket. But you need to know if it's say three to six months, and I'm saying them for your health. Get them filters replaced as much as possible. <laughs> yep, that's how I view it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here, buddy? We got a new obstacle to jump over. Let's go try this one again. You see what I'm saying? I like that. I'm so expecting everything to be like it be. I had a tree that had fallen just in front of me. Yep. We gonna have to remember that. Let's see how fun this gonna be. <laughs> hey y'all, much respect. What's going on y'all? Your boy out here having fun. Let's get it. We got a new log to jump. It's all about timing, baby. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh my baby. <laughs> oh man. Hey, actually craziest thing. That fallen tree just reminded me. Every time I see a fallen tree, no, I don't think about my knee. Hold on. That knee guard. Yeah, that boy be sliding down. It don't feel so stable now. All right. That's a product review. That boy ain't holding up to running out here. That one is clear. Oh my goodness, it's going under my kneecap now. And that feels very uncomfortable. Look. See what I'm saying? Look how far down this slid. Horrible product. And then I have to do it through my pants. But we can do it, baby. Let's get it. Who wet it? Oh my goodness. All right. We back at it. I hate that that slowed me down. But let's get it. It don't feel all that great right now, though. I did not set it straight. <laughs> there it is, though. All right, I got it. Tell JB when I get off of the trail that somebody tore up one of the, the markers. Yep. Hey, what I'm saying is, come out this boy, kill two birds with one stone. Community service hires. Man, I be killing a thousand. Look. I feel like every time I throw a stone, even if it be a pebble, we knocking down giants. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, there go a giant right there. Look at him. What up, buddy? How you doing? Woo, see? And she just let me go. I'm glad, <laughs> cause I ain't want it though. <laughs> I ain't want it though, 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 though. I ain't want it though. Yeah, don't get mad at me. That's what she is, a doe. Doe, a deer, a female deer. There she go, hey, she following me. Why are you coming after me, baby? Look, she right there. Oh, it's another one coming now. I see. Oh, it's three of them coming. They looking like, what are you doing? There go two. Uh, oh, y'all can't see it. I know y'all can't. But the fact that they just chilling there while I'm right here, that's crazy. I could have got both of them. 
Not running them down. No, no, no. Not now. Not would have hurt me. Them boys would be running away laughing at me. I'd be like, hold on, let me catch you. But I got something with me that could get you. That's a true statement. <laughs> ah, your boy be feeling good. Whew. Hey, so I still got a rhyme going in my head with everything I just said. And I want to stop it and move in a different direction. But for some reason, when my mind gets the rhyming, that's all it want to do. Hey, I'm happy. Hey, be simple. Hey, you know what? You know why I'm happy? I'm happy because it feels like I'm always on the search for how I can keep track and identify progress. I guess that's what keeps me motivated. Is all I do is sit around and I don't sit around. <laughs> and I don't kid around. What I'm saying is all I do is sit around and think about ways that I can identify my productivity. Yep, that's just so it's called tracking. Tracking what you're doing. I'm saying once you start a routine, it's kind of like, hey, think about it. We're gonna talk about this through finances again. Think about budgeting. Once you get on a budget and you've been on a budget for a long time, you know how and when you spend money. Like, you know how much certain things in your life cost you. You know when they do. Let's get on the routine. You got a car payment, you know how much it is every month, you know what day it's due. So you're in a routine of trying to make sure you come up with that money every single month. And that's all you think about. Once you get into a routine that that money is guaranteed, like, you know, your job is paying you at least your car note. Then you get into a, a routine. It's almost like a comfort zone because you're like, ah, I got that. I got that. Ooh. Same thing with this coming out here on this wall. Fitness. It's the same thing with everything. Once you figure out a routine. They make it a whole lot easier to deal with some things. Hey, I know what they expect. I know what my knee can do and what it can't do. Well, let me stop. Some days, it be hurting more than others. <laughs> hey, but what I'm happy to say, though, is today, oh, my goodness. It feels like everything has been repaired. And guess what, y'all? I'm saying, when I said I couldn't go swimming on Monday, that was because I slept on my shoulder wrong. And that boy was ooh, infuriated at me. Like, hey, bro, you can't sleep that long ever again. I'm like, okay, I get it. You got work to be done. Then I paid for it for two days. I don't know how that happened. That's the worst, especially when you get something that hurts and you don't know why. Oh, my goodness. But I guess that's called uh, getting old. <laughs> old age it's like man my knee hurt just because it hurt no bro your knee hurt from daggone 40 years of abuse on that boy and now you just out here getting loose on that boy need to go home and put some of that Bengay juice on that boy <laughs> ah, oh my goodness I just spit some truth on that boy <laughs> hey I'm having fun though Hey, the thing is, what I'm understanding is, that's why I say activity and exercise is important in your life. Because the thing that I'm trying to tell people, hey, if your activity level ain't keeping up with inflation, boy, you're going to be in a hole that can't nothing get you, get you out of when you get in them later years in life. I'm saying... You gotta keep them activity levels up. The more you let it slow, the slower. Hey, all I'm saying is, it's harder to run a marathon in your 70s than it is. Like what I'm saying is, have you ever noticed? And I want y'all to think about this. Every time somebody older, elderly, what the world considers to be old, does something impressive, 
it'd be like this person at 80 years old ran a marathon and you're like well okay because what i want you to think about is in that marathon it was probably a hundred i don't know it could have been a thousand people in their 20s then it's gonna be like 800 people in their 30s <laughs> you get where i'm going with this it's gonna go down so the sheer accomplishment is you know how much work a person has to do but what i'm saying is at the same in the same breath the person who ages they go through a lot in order to, to maintain that and so they shift their energy it's a guarantee they shift their energy they understand how to get the most out of their training and put the least amount of work into it they have to because at this point in their life they're putting the most work in that they can but it's probably the least that they've ever put in in their life because when you're in your 20s you putting in work and you ain't thinking about it yeah 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 that's why all these little funny memes talking about some when i was you know in my 20s and the 20s and new 30s what i'm saying is ain't nothing new about none of this it's just about our perspective on it ain't no 30s the new 20 what i'm saying is what you're saying is you found a 30 year old that looked like a 20 year old or a 30 year old that act like a 20 year old or a 30 year old who just shifted their thought process in life and moved everything to a later point Huh? 30 ain't the new 20. What I'm saying is, can't be. Well, some foolishness came with me when I was in my 20s. I thought I had an understanding and then I realized how much I didn't understand at all. Well, what I'm saying is, I don't think I've ever realized that. I'm still realizing, dang. Every day I wake up, there's something new right in front of me. And I never paid attention to it. One reason I never paid attention to it is I never had the ability to. Somebody was always trying to tell me what to do. That statement be true. I couldn't think for myself because somebody else was, I was so worried about thinking about what somebody else was thinking, trying to avoid the consequence of what they was thinking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a big shift. I call that grace, one of God's gifts. Yep. Now I understand. Hey, it's different. And I guess now I'm starting to understand. Balance. Whew. Hey, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make it seem like I was I don't ever feel like I was. I feel like I've always been the same person I am now. Just with a better better understanding of life. And that is what wisdom is, right? I just got wiser. And what amazes me is, hey, there's a possibility. I still got so much left to learn. Hey, something that new is new to be found in every day. Man, that's what's crazy that a person could, could, a person could live forever and still learn every single day. They would be the wisest person in the world because they've seen so much, but they still would learn something new every single day. I mean, if, <laughs> well, I mean, if you live forever, you're gonna be wise whether you want to or not. Yeah, if something hurt, you would stop doing it unless you enjoy pain. So that's what's crazy is we don't live forever and some of us still do that. I'm telling you, we act like we have forever in front of us and I'm telling you, it's not true. Oh, what I was trying to tell you was yesterday I saw the saddest thing ever. Oh man, I would be so hurt. Well, whoa. I mean, this dude should be double hurt. So I don't know his name, but he was, his, Man, this is even crazier. He's a junior. He was killed by his father. He played professional football. Killed by his father while trying to protect his mother. 
So his father shot and killed him, shot his mother. His mother's currently, they said she was in the hospital. I guess this happened Monday. And it just came out yesterday in the news. Man, that's sad. But the father is in custody, I do believe. And the father is 52 years old. So that means, I don't know how, I, I didn't look into all the facts. When I saw it, I just couldn't believe it. I went and looked it up. I read as much as I could tolerate to read. And, man, I feel bad for the man. And then, uh, the other thing I feel bad about, man, a school shooting, you yeah. Another school shooting. Yesterday when I saw that, three people down, gone. And I think it was like eight people wounded, including a teacher and the rest were students. It was at a high school in Michigan. Hey, that's a lot of negativity, uh, all of that. That's a lot of negativity. <sighs> and what I'm saying is, that's another thing I mean. You can't get away from it. And what I mean by that is, I do my best to avoid seeing stuff like that. People, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the trial too. Uh, somebody posted that and it popped up in my YouTube feed. I went, it came on next after, I think, I, I don't know. Anyway, what I'm saying is, we could live our whole lives in negativity. And that would be a lot of what reality is. But I'm saying, people force an image on you. I'm saying, even from your commercials, everybody know the jingle to a commercial. Everybody, I don't know how to, I don't know where I'm going with this. Man, let me leave that right there. I feel bad though. And I'm saying, this is just what I mean. Don't nobody ever be seeing the signs, yeah? And what are the signs? Because I'm saying to me, huh, hey, what what <clears throat> really bothered me about the school incident? They said that one student said he stayed home because he felt like something was gonna happen. Why didn't nobody hear that young man? Or young lady, I don't know. He said a student stayed home. Well, he did say he felt like something was gonna happen. So that means, in my opinion, there was some buzz going around. And now you got three families who ain't got no, no child at home. And another one whose child is going to jail. And then eight other people in the hospital. And what I'm saying is we come right back around to the main point. Why was nobody paying attention? <sighs> hey, this is what I'm saying. I guess even I can miss the signs. I guess we all can miss the signs because how do we know what we are looking for? Everybody do what they be doing for different reasons. You don't know what sparks a person to get to these points, but what I'm saying is we gotta keep our ear tuned to the ground, yeah? Hey, I feel the reason we need balanced lives and the start, look, we want everything and we want to give our kids the world. But at some point, we got to stop and think. By doing these things, are we giving our kids to the world to be raised? Now, I ain't saying don't send your kids to school. What I'm saying is if our lifestyle is, is forcing us to work harder, then who is there supporting and taking care of our kids? And what I'm saying is the same problem could be the solution. And look, inflation is going up in my opinion because the average household income is going up. It seems like money just going up everywhere right now. There's nobody, what I'm saying is there's nobody paying attention. Look, I know people who was out of work and didn't have a job. 
And so therefore I know people who have two and three jobs because it's just that easy to get one. And what happens is you do all this work and then you ain't got, well, let me get off of here. I'm saying we got to pay better attention to our youth, y'all. They are future. What I'm saying, the same way I say we need to invest in ourselves into our elderly years, we got to invest in our future the same way because one day our future is going to be running this country in our elderly years. Come on, stop thinking about only you. If you living for you in this moment, I'm telling you, that's wrong. If you living because you want to show the rest of the world that you got the best of everything, ah, man, I feel like a hypocrite because I'm trying to have the best of everything, but I'm trying to do it in a different kind of way. I'm trying to do it where I'm saying I want to set my kids up, my future up, and then find some way. To, I guess what I'm saying is if you can find a way to prolong your gratification, Hey, I'm saying what's on the other side of it is so great. Look, I'm telling y'all, patience is something I have had to work on my whole life. I've always been a person of instant gratification. I'm saying that's how haircutting came to be because it's like 45 minutes in front of me. That's pretty much instant gratification. You get an instant reward. I'm saying cutting grass. Oh yeah, 45 minutes in front of me, you get an instant reward and you look for that. And that's what social media has done for so many people. It's giving them an instant reward. It's like, what can I do to be rewarded next? With a whole bunch of likes, a whole bunch of follows. What can I do to be rewarded next? And that has become the new instant, um, I don't know. Hey, uh, I gotta get to the, I gotta get to the pool. I ain't trying to be out here talking like this. Hey. I'm saying, what I've learned in life is patience. I'm trying to be patient, trying to be responsible. That's all it requires. And constant moving forward in the direction you want to go. Hey, I've been carrying this trash with me this whole time. <laughs> hey, it's all good. We're doing it for a reason. Starting December off right. Getting the trash out of our lives. Hey, changing out our air filters and being thankful for the, the look, another blessing. Hey, Christmas is right around the corner, a new year. Hey, what I'm saying is, don't wait until the new year to become the new you that you say you wanna be so bad. You ain't guaranteed tomorrow. And what I'm saying is, if you make the right choices from starting today, it's more of a guarantee you'll be here to be the best you in the new year that you could be. Because what I'm saying is, if you continue to keep making the choices that you're making right now, it's a possibility that while you waiting on your change, your change may never get a chance to come. Hey, much love, much respect. I be the best you in today. Much respect and I'm out.